elbow on. Hey Aquamigos, how are you guys doing today? So in today's video, my goal is to finish up the plumbing for my bottom drain inside the koi pond. We still have quite a bit of digging to do down there. I need to tunnel underneath this wall and make a hole on the other side down there. So I'm going to finish that up and then after that, you know, we're gonna get our plumbing in. I have my four inch pipe right there and then I have my bottom drain indoors and we're going to concrete that down in the middle down there. So let's get started. Okay, don't worry guys, I'm not going to bore you with a super long digging montage, but I just wanted to mention that after this day of digging, it took me another four days to actually finish digging the tunnel under the retaining wall and get to the other side. The thing about digging this tunnel is that I can only really spend like maybe two to three hours of digging at a time because get being hunched over for that long trying to dig this tunnel and squatting down, it really gets tiring. But as you'll see here, I figured out a new strategy for digging this tunnel where I got this metal stake and I was using a sledgehammer to help dig through the tunnel. I think that helped out a lot. And yeah, after a few more days, I was able to finish the tunnel. Hey, what's up Aquamigos? So it's several days later and I haven't uploaded a YouTube video in over a week, but I finally finished digging the tunnel for the plumbing for my bottom drain. Okay guys, so check it out. This took me an insanely long time to do. So I have my four inch PVC pipe and also my one half inch PVC pipe for the aerator going through that tunnel Coming up on the other side, I have the uh, the 90 degree elbow on the four inch pipe. It's not glued together yet, so I still have to do that. So yeah, I just finished digging this out today and it's going to be dark pretty soon. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll, I'm going to come back tomorrow and I'm going to glue those pipes together. And I also need to glue some fittings to the actual bottom drain. So I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow as well. But I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's pretty cloudy. It kind of looks like it's going to rain. So I picked these up from Lowe's today. Check this out. I picked up five of these tarps. Here they are because at the end of this week, we're going to have four days of rain in a row and I don't want the rain to erode the walls of my pond. So I'm actually going to set some of these up right now, just in case it does rain tonight. As you probably noticed, I didn't buy enough tarps for my pond, so I'm probably going to have to go out and buy some more. Hey Aquamigos, so it's the next day now. Luckily, we didn't have any rain last night, but I'll probably just leave the tarps up in case. I think it's going to rain in like two days, but I'm ready to start gluing some of these PVC pipes together. If you look over here, I even have my bottom drain without the top because I need to finagle some PVC pipes in here for the airline. I'll show you that in a minute, but first I'm gonna get those pipes out. So first off, I'm cleaning off the pipe with some rubbing alcohol, and then luckily my dad came to help me because this would be quite a bit more difficult if I were to do this on my own. And he held the pipe while I applied the PVC primer and the PVC cement, and we connected the 4 inch pipe to the 4 inch elbow. I then attached the 90 degree half inch angle which was included with the bottom drain to the bottom of the bottom drain. And shout out to the pond digger for this next part because I saw him do this in a video and that's where I got the idea to do this. But pretty much what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make the half inch PVC pipe come up next to the side of the opening for the 4 inch pipe. If I didn't do this, I would need to dig out my tunnel a lot deeper. And this way I can run my pipes side by side. Uh, 
All right, there we go, guys. We got our airline going into the bottom of the bottom drain. We have it pretty level. I mean, like roughly the same height as the main opening of the bottom drain for the four inch pipe. And I think everything is pretty much ready to be installed. So before moving on to the next step, I'm going to need another 10 foot four inch PVC pipe and another 10 foot half inch PVC pipe because those are going to need to come up. So basically the two pipes that I have over there, they're going to be running from the middle where the bottom drain is going to be. They're going to be going all the way over here. Then they're gonna be coming straight up. So I need those two pipes that are going to come straight up. Once I have those in place and glued together, and everything then I can go ahead and install the bottom drain at the bottom there I think that's going to be the easiest way to do this so anyways guys that's going to be just about it for today's video as usual I have some shout outs for the Aquamigos I have a shout out for Luis De Silva Ramon Santana Raul Campa Joseph Lopez Twisted Koi the Animal Papa Tim's and Liam's Koi Reptiles Turtles and Fishies Daniel Azevedo and Sleepy Girl ZZZ thank you guys so much for being Aquamigos I really appreciate it if any of you guys watching this would like a shout out in my next video all you have to do is go down to the comments below and comment something with the word aquamigo in it and i'll shout you out in my next video if you guys did like this video it would really help me out if you went down there and gave this video a like that would help me out so much if you would like to see more videos by me in the future make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also that bell notifications button i'll put my instagram handle right here in case you would like to follow me on there i'm really hoping to get that bottom drain installed in the pond in my next video so stay tuned for that and i'll talk to you guys in my next video peace hey guys so i know i already pretty much ended this video but i decided i would throw in these last few clips pretty much i just wanted to get everything ready for the rain because we are going to have like four days of rain coming up hopefully it won't rain too much each day but you know just in case i wanted to prep a little better so i went ahead and took both of the pipes the four inch and the half inch pipe and put them through the tunnel of the pond just because in case there is any kind of like caving in or any like mud accumulates inside there, I won't have to dig it out again if the pipes are already in there. So I went ahead and did that and then as you probably saw earlier, I needed a few more of those tarps. So I went out to Lowe's again and I bought three more tarps. Each one of these tarps is like $10. So altogether, including tax, I spent like over $80 on tarps, which is just ridiculous in my head. But whatever, I feel like it was kind of necessary. Because the last time that we had heavy rain, there was a bit of erosion on the walls of the inside of my pond, which I'm not too concerned about. But the problem is, is then I have to dig it back out from the bottom of the pond. So it adds like a bit of extra work. And then also I don't want my steps going into the pond to get eroded. So I definitely wanted to protect those. So anyways, guys, long story short, we're prepared for the rain. I also went ahead and covered the ends of the pipes with plastic bags. So hopefully stuff won't get inside those. So anyways, Aquamigos, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.